I, I mentioned in the previous capsule how to make training with lighter weights more effective. The first approach we discussed is compensating the, the lack of weight by an increase in tension. So that's one way of doing things. The second way is the use of what we call compensatory acceleration training. Now you have to remember that force equals mass times acceleration. So you can either increase the amount of force you're producing by lifting heavier weights, increasing the mass factor, or by moving a weight faster, increasing the acceleration factor. So let's say that I'm doing a bench press and I only have 60% of my maximum weight on the bar. I can still produce a lot of force if I'm literally trying to kill the barbell. Boom! Pushing as explosively as possible. Now, there's a difference between using compensatory acceleration training and just doing bullshit reps like this. Like, compensatory training is done with 100% focus and violence. So I'm doing the bench press, I'm lowering under control, maximum tension in my back, staying tight, and then boom, moving fast, always maintaining tension. So that increases force production. It also activates, amps up my nervous system. So the compensatory retention training that we saw in the previous capsule is great to turn everything on and make me more stable. So when I'm moving with heavier weights, everything is tight. Compensatory acceleration training is great for amping up my nervous system. If I want to lift a maximum weight, I'm doing my, my, my warm-up lift, boom, boom. So every set activates, amps up my nervous system, and it actually makes me more capable of lifting bigger weights later in a workout. So if I'm working more on an hypertrophy, muscle building program, then the constant tension training would be the best approach to my warm-ups. If I'm lifting more for explosiveness, for power, for strength, then doing my warm-up sets with compensatory acceleration training would be the best strategies. But don't forget that yes, you want to explode when you lift, but you want to maintain perfect form and perfect body position to get the best results possible. So that is the difference between compensatory tension and compensatory acceleration training as two ways of maximizing results from using light weights in training.